All right, everybody. Here we go. We're going live for CKO's CKO Sprints work in. Sporty Girl Toronto is joined. Good to see everyone's coming in. All right. Uh, let's just do a little warm up while we wait for more people to come. Um, like you saw in the post, we're doing a circuit today. Super, super simple work circuit. Uh, just some good hard work. Uh, start stretching a little bit. Make sure you're warmed up. Uh, so the workout, if you haven't read it, is going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're going to do that in sets, uh, in pairs. We're going to do each exercise twice. So for example, push-ups, dips, push-ups, dips. And then we'll take an extra set rest of about a minute. Then we'll move on to the next pair and do that one. So each set will be about four minutes long. Uh, five different pairs, so it'll end up being about 25 minutes. Um, for those of you who are, who are hardcore or working to make teams, uh, I would normally do this circuit probably twice in a row, so it would be closer to an hour of work. Um, but, uh, you know, crazy world we're living in, do whatever you feel like. Um, if at any time, of course, you're feeling like you should stop, then just stop, especially if you have any conditions or if you're a bit older or anything like that. Um, yeah, I'll give it, give it a few more minutes. It's just two o'clock now. Um, do a few stretches, do a few, few warm-up exercises I like to do. I like this one. Can't really see it, but lifting your leg. Mm -hmm. Right on. How's everyone doing? All right. Oh, cool. Yes, yeah, that's only one minute rest between sets. Um, Okay, I'll just go through the exercises for everyone one more time. Uh, the first pair is push-ups and dips. Second pair is lunges and squats. Um, so squats are pretty simple. You don't need to go down too far. You could use your chair kind of as a guide. These don't need to be super deep because they're going to be quite a few reps. Uh, lunges, I'm thinking this is a canoe kayak, so we want to get into kind of a canoe position and really just stay in that position up and down. You don't have to do full steps. And we'll do 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. You'll notice my right side is obviously a lot more flexible. Uh, that's the second pair. Third pair is ruts, which are roll up and tuck sit ups. So that just means up like this. And then a rotation sit up. So it's just going to be elbow to the opposite knee. Uh, fourth pair. This is where we get our, our weights. I'm Canadian. I got maple syrup. Well stocked. I'm going to do side front raises, which are just these. So really good form. I know most of us don't have very heavy weights, so these liter bottles of syrup are doing me well, but grab whatever you can. But it's just to really work on some good shoulder muscles, keep them strong while we're not paddling. And then reverse flies, use the same weights. Gotta stand, stand or sit and just bend over and just fly. So, and if you use maple syrup, you can also just have a quick sip anytime you feel a little thirsty. Uh, the third one, or the last, sorry, the last pair 
are the seated leg lifts. That's with your legs out in front of you. Uh, the National Canoe Team does this a lot for our core weights. It's really good for canoers and kayakers for your, for your hips and strength. And you're just keeping this really solid and just lifting that foot up and down. And we'll do one side 20 seconds, other side 20 seconds. And then again, keeping it in the same area. Some people call this, you know, mermaid dancing, whatever you want to call it, but you're on your side, just doing leg lifts. And again, we'll switch 2020 for that. So just follow along best you can. If you ever need to stop, just take a break. No one's watching, um, except I obviously have to keep doing it. Pressure's on me. I have a watch going here, um, but feel free to start your own watches. Uh, let's see what time it is now. 2.05. Make sure everyone's looking. Oh, is Gab, your elbow, shin, saving knee. Excellent. Is on the line. Everyone, oh, no, Canada. Good to see. Uh, I'm repping FanFit. My boy, A. Russ. A great fitness challenge. I thought it was a fitting shirt to wear. Oh, Genevieve, elbow, shin, saving knee. Excellent. Tess is there. Liz Elton. Hi. All right. We're going to get going without further ado again this is going to be, take about 25 minutes so get ready to work hard and we'll do a classic three two one start the watch and we'll start with push-ups and dips so 40 seconds on 20 seconds off push-ups dips push-ups dips if you need to go on your knees don't feel bad three two one Go! Okay, good. All right, now get to your dips station. Adjust your feet however you want so that it's, you're able to do it for 40 seconds. The less stopping, the better. Ready, set, go. And stop. Oh, I don't know stuff. All right, back to push-ups now. Second set, you might be a little bit more fatigued, especially after working the triceps on the dips. Uh, do the best you can. Ready, set, go. There. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. All right. One more set of dips. Shake those arms out if you're tired like me. Whew. Gonna be sweating. So move this up. Let's 
Squeak and ready, go. Shake it out. <laughs> Ooh, ten more seconds. And stop. Nice work. That was the first first set. Take another minute now, or about a minute 20. See so who's watching, hey Tori. Katie Vincent, nice, Mihak, the boy. He's done a few of these circuits back in the day at Burl Oak. How can someone keep up? Look, I'm struggling too, I'm working hard. It's hard for everyone, just do the best you can. So next up, we're gonna have lunges and squats. Let's chair out of the way. So these circuits are a great way to just get a full body workout. It's great for paddling, whether you're a master, whether you're a national team athlete, or a young kid coming up. I know growing up, uh, we used to do these every single week. And you can mix and match the, the exercises just to mix it up and make it interesting. All right, we're going in about five seconds. We're gonna start with lunges. So 20 seconds each side. Ready, set, go. This is really good, obviously, for canoers. If you're off the water for this long, it's really important to get those leg muscles working, especially in a circuit style weights, because it's the most like paddling that you can get other than, you know, being on the water or a paddle machine. Switch legs. You can even, you know, pretend you're paddling. There's 40 seconds, we'll go 20 seconds rest. Uh, feel free to go at your own pace, take breaks. Uh, let's just try to start when we start. So just squats, go as deep as you're comfortable going. Doesn't need to be too deep. Ready, set, go. Try to have good form, like your coaches have taught you. If you're really keen and have been feeling the squats a lot lately, then you can throw in some jump squats. Just do it to your level. We'll make sure to push within that level and keep pushing so you can make solid improvements. And good, take a break. Lunges again next. And it's, yep, yeah, right, 10 seconds. Get ready for lunges again. Start with my left side this time. Three, two, one, go. Switch. Last 10. Canoers, you can picture the last 10 seconds of your race where your legs are totally burning and you just have to keep pushing. That's exactly what that is. Take a break. We'll go in 10 seconds, finish with squats. Two, one, go.
Uh, kayakers use their legs too. Oh yeah, apparently, like in war canoe or something, I guess. So Tessa means, um, for sure. Keep going, five more seconds. And shoot. Nice, all right, we got another minute break. Those two sets, with ruts and rotational sit-ups next. Take a little breather. Keep up the good work. So I got 40 seconds. Uh, just want to say hey to everyone that's joined. Thanks for, for joining us with the CKO work in weekly workout. Um, just trying to follow up on what my teammate and friend Katie Vincent did last week. Um, you'll notice there's no burpees on this in this circuit, which those killed me last week. My whole career and uh, burpees have always wrecked me. Um, Adam Vancouver, an Olympic champion, has known to have cut out burpees from his r repertoire as a reward to himself for winning a gold medal. So that's how deadly they can be. Um, but kudos to those who can, can handle it. Okay, talking too much. Let's get our ruts going, ready, go. Okay, so we're doing rotational sit-ups next. Make sure not to strain your neck when you're doing this. It's easy to do. Just go up as far as you feel comfortable. But really try to twist and feel the side of your abs. So we can work some different muscles in there. Ready? Go. Just back and forth. You want to go fast, but you also want have good form. I'm sorry. up nice nice work go again in 10 back to ruts ready go Nice work. And just one more rotational sit up. My mind is slipping. Send the sweat here. Ready? Go.
Alrighty, nice work. All right, we're over halfway. Get an extra minute rest now. Uh, so next up, we're gonna use our, our weights. Again, maple syrup liters. That's how Canadian I am. Uh, grab your chair. I find it's better to really focus on the shoulders if you have a chair. You can do them standing as well, but and again, uh, good speed here, but uh, keep keep it controlled. You're not trying to fly. You're not trying to flop away and fly. Controlled motion. It's just going to be up to the side and then up at the front. And again, most of us have pretty light weights, cans or maple syrup. So uh, just do a good controlled motion and it'll You'll feel the burn by the end. Another 10 seconds. Oh. It ended. Uh, maybe I need to start this again. Sorry, technical difficulties. Live minutes. Okay. I'm still going on Facebook, so uh, let's go. All right, Instagram is bugging out on me. Drew Hodges, what's up, buddy? Grab the maple syrup or cans, anything you have in your closet. Uh, sorry, we'll have to wait one more minute. Yeah, everyone's worst nightmare technical difficulties but we're just trying to overcome things right now in the world you know your instagram stops working it's a worldwide pandemic it's just things we have to live with these days five more seconds ready set go I'm not sure if you can see me on Instagram, but hopefully you can. Let me know if you can. You can also pause a bit at the top here if you want to really feel the shoulders burn a bit more. Okay, rest. Let's focus on Facebook. Ready? Oh, we're doing reverse slides. No question. All right, so we can upload upload the Facebook to Instagram later. So let's focus on the workout. Again, not trying to fly away here. It's controlled movement. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And watch his way over there. Five more seconds. All right, rest. I'm feeling it. Starting to get sweaty. Pretty standard for me. Ready. Back to side front. Raises and go. So it's good to keep your core stabilized during this. Good posture with your back. And then you can really think about what muscles you're using them. And try to kind of isolate them. And again, hold it a bit longer at the top where there's the most resistance. And 
and rest. Reverse flies next. Insta's back now, excellent. Five seconds. Ready, go. Okay, nice. Good set. Alrighty. One more to go. Take a minute break now. Alright, hopefully everyone can still see what's going on. Alrighty. Alrighty. So again, this is just a really simple circuit, just keeps you going, gives you enough rest to, to push yourself. Uh, we've pa I've paired the groups, the exercises together here to give it a little bit of the same muscle group in each pair, uh, just to make it a little bit more challenging, um, but changing it a little bit so that you can keep going. Um, each set is about, well, it's three minutes and 40 seconds long, which for me and a lot of thousand meter athletes is kind of pretty perfect for uh, focusing on a thousand meter race. So I like that about this. But again, it's all about just adding new exercises, having a variety. And with that, our last set begins in three, two, one. Alrighty, just lift the leg, small movements, really good posture. Keep your abs, everything locked. Just up and down. Keep your foot off the floor. And we'll switch sides. Same thing on the other side. This one's really good for, I think, canoers and kayakers. We do so much, so many weights with our upper body and arms and legs and back and, not legs, sorry, chest and back. And sometimes we forget about these leg muscles that uh, do so much for us. Okay, take a break. It's important to work them too. Okay, some horizontal dancing or exercising now. Just a leg lift. Ready, go. So you can see. Switch sides, I guess. Whew. Nice rest. Back in the sitting position. This is the last. Last of the pairs, so keep working hard. And go. Again, just small up and down movements. Sit up, kikers, pretend you're in a kike, have a really good, strong position. And switch. If that 20 seconds wasn't challenging enough, when you go back and do it again, you can do the 40 seconds all in one leg and the second part of the pair do the other leg. Um, I find this challenging enough with the switch, so we'll keep it like that. 
and break. All right, let's finish it off strong. Again, 10 seconds. Good. Lift. Go. And switch. Last 10 seconds. And done. Nice work. Good job, everybody. Nice work. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, if you're a full-time athlete, rewind this. Do that whole set again. Um, otherwise, just... Uh, Try to do some stretching, make sure you get hydrated. Um, again, if you were lost at any time during that workout, you can just go back, watch it again, um, practice it. Uh, again, we used to repeat this two or three times a week when we were young. Uh, just mix up the exercises, mix up the number of sets. Uh, sometimes we do pairs, sometimes we don't. Uh, but it's a, just a great way to stay active, put in all that hard work that you need to, to build a base to be such a, a great athlete. Um, and again, thanks for joining me. Uh, it's been great to see so many uh, kids and everybody working out at home, staying fit during these tough times. Um, I'm off the water. Obviously, everyone should not be on the water right now. It's too, too cold in Canada. Uh, stay home. We all want to go out paddling, but we can't. Uh, we all wish we could go down to the canoe club, but... Uh, it's just time to stay home and do th fun things like this. Uh, there's tons of uh, resources on the web. CKO Sprint has some great resources. Uh, I know a lot of different canoe clubs do. My club, Burl Oak, has amazing resources on their website for, for at-home workouts. So keep that up. Uh, any questions? Yeah, repping FanFit. Thanks, Tori. Katie Vincent, Olympic medal. Yeah, stop doing burpees. That's the deal. Excellent. Hey, Liz. Great to see you. Still working hard. Well, thanks, Ryan. Awesome. Yeah, great to see you. Thanks for joining. Uh, okay, well, thanks, everybody. Uh, this is Mark Oldershaw for CKO Sprints in Hamilton. Bye.